In this video, we'll be discussing Android and iOS testing. To get started, simply connect your device or start up your emulator or simulator to where your agent is currently running. Once your device is connected, you can easily create a new test. Just press New Test, select Mobile, give your test a name, and select if you'd like to make either an Android or an iOS test. Let's go with Android. Here you'll need to select your application for testing. You can add a new application either by specifying the package and activity name, upload an APK that will be installed on the device, or select an application that's already on the device. Let's select My Device and search for an application. Let's use the test project demo application for now. Now the device will be mirrored on the platform where you'll be able to interact with it. You'll be prompted to reset your application to clear all its data. You can refuse or you can agree. You can create steps in your test by simply interacting with the application through the mirroring. For example, let's enter a name here. As you can see, both steps have been recorded and executed. You can also create steps by hovering over certain elements and then pressing Shift twice. This will open a context menu you can use to choose either actions or validations from the dropdowns. To demonstrate the self-healing capabilities, let's purposefully break the first locator. Now, let's run our test. As you can see, the element in step 2 is missing. Now you'll receive a notification that self-healing was performed. This is going to happen in step 3 as well, since both of them interact with the same element. After the steps ran, as you can see, they are colored yellow, meaning self-healing was performed, and you'll be prompted that another locator strategy was used. You'll see this prompt only during recording. During execution, you'll receive a detailed notification of a report that self-healing was performed. In addition to working with elements, you can also work with parameters and parameterization, as mentioned briefly earlier when talking about editing elements. You can create parameters, either at project level or test level, and use them throughout your tests. For example, let's create a parameter to store the name instead of using a hard-coded value. You can make parameters secret, encrypting them both in the UI and the reports. As you can see, the value in the parameter was used. Another important part of test project are our validations. For example, we can double shift over this element to freeze it and open the context menu and select a validation. For example, we can check if this element is clickable before even attempting to click on it. It will use the test project adaptive weight to give you the optimal experience. The adaptive weight will wait at most up to the defined time until the condition is met. 
it will not wait the entire duration if the conditions are met before. Some applications may not be suited for a recorder's default execution speed. Fortunately, the execution speed can be edited per step in your test or globally at a test level. During mobile tests, you might need to reach specific parts of your application or see how the intended target of the application navigates through it. For that, you'll need to perform swipes in the application. In test project, there are multiple ways to create swipes. The most simple one would be just to drag your mouse over the mirroring to simulate creating a swipe in these coordinates. Some users might not find the previous solution scalable to multiple devices. Luckily, we are prepared with a swipe and find element add-on, which allows you to create your own swipes between dedicated screen margins while swiping either vertically or horizontally, searching for a specific element. Once you're done recording your test, to execute it, you simply hit the play button. From here, you get to select which agent will be executing the test and on which device. Everything you've seen on Android also applies to iOS as well. The options are endless with our mobile test recorder, and you have a bunch of actions, validations, and add-on to explore to boost your mobile testing to the next level.